hey guys it's my time and welcome back to my channel so i am starting this video in the night which is very weird of me i decided to film this really like last minute i was literally like putting on lotion because i just took a shower it's 11 at 9 p.m like 11 p.m right now and i was like you know what i haven't filmed a video in school and i'm literally about to go on summer break so i was like let's film like a finals vlog so i have my states exam the eoc for u.s history because i'm in u.s history junior year and i was like you know what let me film so yeah like i said it's 11 p.m and i'm prepping to go to bed and i'm literally trying to put on the same outfit that i'm going to put on tomorrow because i want to get starbucks in the morning and i need to leave the house at like 7 15 and i need time to eat and digest it so i have to get up at the crack of dawn and put in my order so I could just go pick it up and then eat it as I'm eating ready. So I'm gonna get a, a little bit of a glimpse into my nighttime routine. You kind of got a little glimpse in the last video. If you haven't go watch it, go watch it now. So I'm just gonna go brush my teeth really quickly and then do my skincare. Skincare is done. I look like a glazed donut. But yeah. Retainers are in. As you can see, I'm shining. Like, can you tell? <laughs> I'm like refreshed. But yeah, um, that's basically all I do in the nighttime. Time for me to go actually like set up for bed. Okay, guys. Welcome to my room in nighttime. Um, of course, my aquaphor. I, I'm using two aquaphors right now the one with sunscreen and the one without because I hate the one with sunscreen. I hate the the formula, it's different from the normal one. So I like use a lot of the sunscreen one and then, like a tiny, tiny touch of the normal one to just seal it in. I know. Maybe excessive or whatever. Oh my gosh. I'm super clumsy. I've been like super clumsy these past days. But um my school bag's already packed, my outfits picked out, and I um already have like my order in the cart for Starbucks in the morning. Um I just can't like select the store because it's closed. I need to set my alarms. I set the same alarms every single night. I'm so sorry. I can hear myself have a list, but that means you guys can hear it. I have it in my retainers. Um, so yeah, my alarms. I have plenty. I'm like one of those people who need like a bunch of alarms to wake up. Because I kid you not, I'll like turn off four alarms and not realize it. So I have my 5 o'clock, my 5.30, 6, 6.15, and 6.30 a.m. alarms have been set. Those are the ones I said. 6 30 is the absolute last that I can get up and then I go wake up and home. But you'll see that tomorrow. Um basically the last thing to do. I'm gonna put on my hoodie tonight because my room gets really cold overnight and I don't have the energy to put on my hoodie. And this is the hoodie I'm gonna wear into the testing room. I'm just gonna change out because I have on the same top biker shorts and then I'm gonna have on my hoodie. But I don't know if the room's gonna be cold, so I'm just gonna put on regular long leggings. Does that make sense? So, yeah. Because I kid you not, I've been sleeping in a hoodie the past few nights, even though I live in the very humid south. So, I don't know. My room's cold. I don't know how to say it. Um, basically, yeah, the last thing to me to do is charge my phone, say my prayers, and go to sleep. Like I don't, know. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm I'm really not stressed out about this exam. It's history. I'm typically really good at history. Um, we've been doing reviews for the past couple of days, and I've been doing really good on them. And I, like to me, when I study, I like 
when I'm constantly reviewing, I get burnt out on the topic. And then the day of the test, I really don't want to do it anymore because I've been doing all these practice tests and all these reviews and I'm like over it. So like I've been trying not to force myself to study. Like every time I go to class, I had to study for three hours today because today was the bio EOC. And so we were stuck in our first period, flash of periods for three hours. So yeah, those three hours I was spent reviewing. So I'm kind of done with history right now. I am doing really good, like, I'm doing really good, I'm really good, I'm patting myself on the back and saying that, so pray for the best for this test, so yeah, I'm not really concerned, I'm not nervous, not really, probably gonna feel it in the morning, that's how it always feels, but like, in my mind, whatever happens, happens, and what's meant to be, will be, so yeah. That's, that's my little two cents on this exam. Time check before I turn off my light. It's 11.30, so it really is time for me to go to sleep. I'm just gonna put my water bottle in my bag and turn off my light and literally go to sleep. Probably not, but I'll try my best. Okay, good night. Starbucks for breakfast and for lunch and they sold out of my matcha because there's like a worldwide shortage or whatever so I just had to get a refresher I'm tired but I'm not even like sleepy but yeah I'm gonna go brush my teeth and like wash my face and get ready for the day and then go pick up my Starbucks because it's gonna be ready in five minutes okay, guys. let's go get myself together sorry for the strobing lights um remember i always said that i was gonna show like my anxiety pick up in the morning well it's kind of here but it's not even bad like i can still eat which is really surprising which just shows that like i'm ready for the test so i'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face and then get back to you I just got um, the maggot, ma maggot, the mango dragon fruit refresher, like the lemonade version, because they didn't have my matcha. And then I got two ham and Swiss croissants, one for breakfast, one for lunch. And then as a treat for after taking my exam, I got myself a birthday cake pop. And yes, when I finish my exam, I'm gonna eat said cake pop and celebrate. Let me head back home and do what I need to do. And it's 6 47. So I have time. Because normally I would only get out of bed at 6 45 if I'm being quite honest. Like I have my alarm set for 6 30. I give myself 15 minutes of being on my phone to wake up. And then I start getting ready. So I'm not really scared that I'm gonna this time. I'm already brush my hair, turn into leggings. Literally, one of the essays saw fell on me. The dragon fruit thing, so whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't even make up my bed. I'm gonna go take my test. The quality's gonna switch from my camera to my phone. I'm not bringing this camera to school. But yeah, bye, wish me luck. You survived. <laughs> it was really easy. Yes, no I words. Really wanted, like, they give you so much time. I literally took two naps. Oh, my oh, arms oh. and my neck hurt. <laughs> but we're done. Guys, I'm finally home. Thank God this day was so long. I stayed the full time. Like I didn't even go home after the test, which most people did. Which my friend did, she abandoned me. But I'm home now, I'm very grateful for that. And I'm starving. And I was gonna order food, but Mother's Day is coming up. So I need money, I can't just go order food. 
because also i want to film another video of me like treating myself because i deserve it because after all these tests i'm done so basically i have to save my money and i forgot that i bought mac and cheese the andy's mac and cheese and i want it right now so this is my little snack like this is mine like ramen and mac and cheese and i don't know if i want the cheddar or if i want the white cheddar i'm gonna go with white cheddar i love mac and cheese which is very ironic because guess what i am lactose intolerant yes 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 you've heard it here first i'm lactose intolerant and honestly that doesn't stop me so why should it affect you just just don't don't let your intolerance stop you guys i eat cheese i i don't drink milk that's disgusting i'm an almond oat milk girly but cheese and stuff like that i can't like quit butter i can't quit so oh well i'll just deal with the pain afterwards Apologize. because I'm not the only one that uses hot water like from the sink when they're boiling water so that it boils quicker I don't know if that's scientifically correct in my mind it makes sense and in my mind it might be the placebo effect but I think it boils faster so I just wait for my sink to get like the water from my sink to get really hot and then I put it on the stove and look like it's already it's already doing its thing so like in my work like i'm literally a scientist hire me also i think my microphone is done so let's let's go let's go check on her i hope it's done because i'm like starving yeah this is done see this is my thing about white cheddar you can't really tell how much the cheese has dispersed so you just kind of hope for the best and yes i'm gonna eat this whole thing by myself like i don't know why you guys don't even question it like starving wow it's giving gourmet <laughs> this is literally gourmet mac and cheese do you not see the the cilantro sprinkles on top i only use parsley and the parsley is done so how do you cilantro this is all come for me but i'm gonna feast on this right now and honestly this might be the end of this vlog like let me step away from this loud ac I don't have anything else to do. I don't have homework. You guys saw my night routine in the last video. If you haven't, go watch it, please. Um, basically, I have nothing else to do for the night. So I'm just gonna eat my mac and cheese and chill on TikTok. So what else is there to film? But I will be filming my weekend tomorrow, cause, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. The weekend this week and um, not Mother's Day, but Mother's Day is this week. So I'll show you guys everything in the next video so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy and i hope you stick around and watch another video bye